Well, a good afternoon on a fabulous bright blue sky, sunny afternoon. We are in the town of Banska Bystrica. This is in central Slovakia. And I was told it's one of the most well-preserved cities in the entire country. It is the sixth most populous city in Slovakia. And it's about halfway uh, between the two largest cities in the country. Uh, Bratislava and Kosica. About an hour and a half train ride to get down here. I started in Jelena. Only five euros for the entire ride down. So the train station is actually about a two mile walk from the uh, city center where I am now. However, I kind of cheated and I jumped on one of those scooters that you can rent. It's one buck to unlock it, and then you pay about 20, it was about 27 cents, I think, per minute. So it cost me less than three euro to get all the way up here into the uh, center. Get a look at some of the architecture here. The town, from what I understand, was built by the Germans and then taken over by the Hungarians. Look at this gorgeous day today. Hardly a cloud in the sky. We're sitting about 82 degrees, 28 Celsius. Get a look at some of the amazing architecture which I read online is mostly original and dating back four or five hundred years so the plan today is kind of walk to the uh, centrum area here I see uh, via the map that there's some good hiking trails nearby so maybe we'll venture into the forest as well my Airbnb host suggested I come down here and spend the night or two um, but it is pretty pricey to do so you're looking uh, to be anywhere around the city, anywhere from 100 to 150 euro per evening uh, stay. These are becoming uh, very, very familiar in European cities in the summertime because of the heat wave that is gripped most of Southern and Central Europe right now. The only place that's really been spared is Scandinavia and the United Kingdom, Ireland, places such as that that are really further north. Most of the continent has been triple digits Fahrenheit. I've seen days here in the 90s, which puts you uh, mid upper 30s Celsius. It's a nice little garden area here. The birds are doing their best to stay, stay cool in this heat. All right, we'll continue to explore here in Banska Bystrica, Slovakia. So it's a little further down the square, we find a, uh, a Soviet army monument. And the reason for that is during World War II, Banska Bystrica was a center of the uh, anti-Nazi opposition in Slovakia. And an insurgency occurred in 1944, and the insurgents were defeated in October of that year. And then uh, Banska Bystrica was actually occupied by German forces uh, for a little while and was liberated by Soviet and Romanian troops on March 26th of 1945. So that's the uh, point of this monument right here. After that occurred, then Banska Bystrica became a uh, economic hub for this part of uh, what would have been Czechoslovakia at the time it looks like this just kind of wanders down and down the street so uh i think we're going to venture out of the uh immediate square well, let's go down the hill and see where that takes us to tatra bank i could probably use some euros cash i only have about 10 euros with me so maybe need to find a bankomat an atm machine For a midweek 
early afternoon this place is really uh really has a lot of folks going going around here europe in the uh, summer is uh is usually a pretty happening place all right let's continue on so i kind of wandered from the city center and walked out all the way down there is a park at least according to uh google maps right across the uh, motorway there the freeway and it says it's a one minute walk and i thought maybe there's a tunnel underneath and there's no tunnel and the only way i think you can get there is if you wanted to play uh frogger across the uh motorway which i do not down here is a uh the europa shopping center and i actually found a pair of shorts in there i have to actually replace two pairs of shorts that i brought with me when i was staying in the uh, czech republic a couple weeks ago i had a washing machine at my airbnb and if you turn it one click to the left it is an express wash which is like a 25 minute wash or whatnot if you turn it one click to the right it is a hot water wash at 90 degrees celsius which is damn near boiling it's about 185 degrees fahrenheit i think and then it runs for like three hours for some odd reason uh, but i had some shorts in there and i clicked it to the right when i was in a hurry not paying any attention and i got two pairs of shorts set now they don't look the best so let's put it that way so i'm having to replace those but uh, yeah, Europa Shopping Center was actually really, really nice. So I'm going to walk it back towards the city. Uh, haven't found anything in the way of parks yet, but I'm not giving up on that. The O2 Tower, that's a big cell phone and cable company. All right, more to come. Yeah, welcome back to Bonska Bastritza. Down here at the bottom of the uh, main pedestrian zone, come across this little body of water. You see a bridge on that side with some flowers on it. Come over here, you got kind of the same thing. And this little, uh, oh, maybe like a little tributary that runs into the river or something along those lines, but it's kind of flowing right beneath us. And then there are several bridges that connect the uh, pathway over to, I guess, what businesses and restaurants and things such as that. So I thought that might be kind of interesting to take a walk down that way. That'll accomplish two things. One, get to see something different that I haven't walked through here yet. Two, noticeably cooler in the shade. It is a warm one today. I hit cafe there. Here's a dental care place. Sport 2000. I don't know if that's like a sports pub maybe. Maybe a bedding shop maybe a store yep there we go looks like a clothing store up there the old sport 2000 pigeons got the right idea get out of the sunshine i don't know if this will lead anywhere or where we go with that water certainly is moving pretty good certainly get a little chill effect coming off there especially when you're out of the sunshine it is kind of a ni nice little pathway that wasn't very crowded right at the base of the uh, city walking area I'll walk back up into the city here in a moment maybe find a place for a bite to eat yeah just kind of a nice little place that you can get away from the uh, hustle and bustle of the town We're just a few minutes away from the uh, centrum itself very green here well I left that little riverside path and came across the road and sure enough we have a park clay tennis courts some competitive tennis going on right now Yeah, just right below the uh, city center. Much like everywhere in Europe, you have a, uh, a little bit of nature that you can go explore. Not have to get in your car and drive 
miles and miles away or kilometers away to find a park or something like that just a quick little walk or a quick little bike ride although the uh, pathway through here has seen better days I imagine uh, understanding that they get quite a bit of snow in the uh, winter time that these things probably take a uh, probably take a severe beating from the uh, snow ice and salt and all that sort of stuff but yeah nice little lovely park here right off the uh, city center it's not gonna find anything to eat in here I don't believe so I think that will be the next goal is back towards the uh, centrum find a little dinner and then catch a train Gorgeous afternoon though, not a cloud in the sky, but rain on the way tomorrow, of course. As we close out our afternoon, now evening here in Monska Bistritza, I found a cool little, uh, that was like a little beer garden or something or other, but had a lot of folks out playing some badminton and things such as that. Had a little fountain in the center. Speaking of fountains, I think we're right back to where we started this tour. We are. Right back into the city center. Obviously a little darker than uh, when we started. Clouds are starting to build. I think there's rain in the forecast yet again for tomorrow. It's been a rather rainy couple weeks in Poland and Slovakia. But we got a little train to catch, so uh, just a quick afternoon stop here in Fonska Bistritza. Could certainly uh, spend several days here, I think. Unfortunately, I didn't get out into the, uh, the force very much. I know there's some really good hiking around here as it sits right at the base of uh, several mountain ranges. Very popular in the wintertime for skiing and things such as that, so... We're about 8 o'clock as the sun goes down a little bit after 8, about 20 after. So we'll close this one out. Hope you enjoyed this little stop in central Slovakia. Good evening.